welcome to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I review fountain pens and other pens too, although I haven't gotten to those yet. So far, still stuck on all the fountain pens, right? That's okay because I really enjoy fountain pens. I love the way that they work and that brings me to a confession. I got a couple of weaknesses that I need to uh, confess to you whenever I'm shopping. This is another new pen. I went shopping a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, however long it takes for a slow boat from China, right? Uh, and found this pen. It's the Jinhao 992, and it, it hits right on a couple of my weaknesses. One is demonstrator pens. If you've watched this channel before, watched any of my reviews, you probably have figured out I really like demonstrator pens. And demonstrators, if you're new to them, are just transparent pens, translucent pens, more like with this one, where you can see the inner workings. This one has a cartridge, but if it had a converter, you would see that too. All the way through the fins and down to the nib, you see how the pen works. I like that. That kind of appeals to, you know, the mechanical side of your brain. And I just, I just like it. I like watching how things work, right? So uh, the pen is no exception. This one also hits another one of my weaknesses, and that is my favorite color is blue. You put the two things together and you get a translucent blue that's a, a demonstrator pen from a company that I've had really good experience with, with Jin Hao, which makes it a really good value. Man, how am I supposed to not buy this thing and at least see if it's a good pen or not? It was only a few bucks. Uh, I'm patient enough to wait for the slow shipping and free shipping, so why not? So I got this and I actually got couple other pens too that I'll share with you fairly soon. The Jinhao 992. And uh, I think I'd like to flip this camera and let's take a look at how well it writes, take a close up look at the details of the pen and uh, talk a little more about it. Let's go. Okay, so again, this is the Jinhao 992, a demonstrator fountain pen from China and a, from a company that makes some really good pens. So whenever I get one of these, I kind of have a pretty good deal of confidence at this point that it's going to be a pretty decent pen and maybe even a really great pen. They, they really do make some good pens, Jin Hao. Uh, this is a uh, not a hooded nib. A lot of theirs are hooded nibs, but this is not. I have a couple of theirs that are. This is just a standard nib, number five I believe it is, and this one is a fine nib. And I found that it writes really quite well, as I'll show you here in the, the writing test in a moment. But it's a, a fairly standard Jin Hao nib. And that actually, for me, is a good thing because they make a decent nib. Now, it's not some high-end thing. It's not going to be the most buttery thing you've ever used. It doesn't write as fine as a Japanese fine, like, say, a Pilot. But is it a good nib? My luck with them has been that it is. I would say... Uh, I would say nine times out of 10, but I've had more than nine, and more than nine out of 10 <laughs> have, have been really good. I, it's just rare that I get a dud. I think I've gotten one in the years that I've been buying Jin Hao pens. And this one is just like almost all the rest. It writes well, it writes smooth, and I'll show you that here in a minute. But this is the nib, and because it is a demonstrator, again, you get to see the ink go all the way through. Now, a Jin Hao will typically come with a converter. You'll notice here that I have just an international ink cartridge in there, a blue, uh, but normally I would use the converter because Jin Hao is really great about providing a converter with their pens. And I have pretty good experience with their converters too. I know there are, are fancier converters out there, some that are maybe uh, more complicated and use maybe higher quality uh, components. I have a Twispy, and, and you can look at the converter in that Twispy, and you can tell uh, it's, it's, it's a greater two up or more. But at the same time, it always seems to do its job. I have had probably a dozen of these converters that have come with different Jin Hao pens, and I have no complaints. They work. They do their job. They uh, can be bought as well uh, independently. If you have a pen that uses just a standard international ink cartridge and, and is long enough to accept a converter, uh, I wouldn't hesitate to buy some Jin Hao converters on the cheap and keep those around because I've had good experience with them. And they're inexpensive enough that if they only last you five or six years or something like that, well, they, you got your money's worth and then some. So it's always nice when those are included. Not all 
pens companies do that. Uh, there are actually some very expensive pens that will not include that converter, so I'm always very happy to see that. Let's look at the design of this pen. Uh, now that we've got that out of the way, uh, you will notice that it is a very classic design. This is a screw-on cap, by the way, so it stays nice and secure. Probably a good contender for an eyedropper. I haven't done it, but some silicone grease and, and some bravery, and I bet you'd find out that this is a good eyedropper, and it would hold a lot of ink, and then you don't even have to worry about converters, right? So you might, you might look into that if you're looking for a good eyedropper pen. I always like uh, for an eyedropper to have a screw-on cap because it's just a little extra insurance uh, toward leaks, uh, but I really haven't had much trouble with that with the pens that I've converted, but I also I, I tend to, to really look over it and make sure it's going to work before I ever put a drop of ink in there, so there are no surprises. But this one, I might, I haven't had it long enough to bother uh, making it into an eyedropper, but you know, I might try it sometime because it looks like it would work very, very well. Um, th this has a very nice band at the cap, and it says Jin Hao, if you can see that. Normally, Jin Hao will put their model number on the back, but on this one they didn't do it. It's not back there. But uh, that is etched into the name, or into the pen, their company name, Jin Hao. You will find a good clip. It's a good metal clip. Uh, strong, excuse me, stiff, uh, but not so much so that it's annoying to work with. You know, some pens can be a little too stiff. One of the pens I bought the same time as this, I'll review later, you can barely even put it in your shirt pocket because the clip is just too, too much. They, they need to dial it back a little bit, but this one is good. And like I said, nice metal band. The clip is actually a metal band around the top, and that usually makes for a nice sturdy clip, so that's a good thing. Maybe the only odd thing, I think, about this pen that I have noticed for myself, from my own point of view, is the way that they ended the barrel. I would have loved for this just to have come to a smooth end, like a more classic design, but for some reason this had this odd little, it's like they put a little blip of plastic at the end of it, at the end of the manufacturing process or something. And I don't know if that was a design or an engineer, uh, designer or engineer who made that decision. Uh, it looks, I don't know, you make up your own mind. But uh, other than that, other than this little odd oddity at the end of the pen, I think it's actually a very good looking pen. And they do come in a bunch of colors. I'll try to, I'll try and put a picture up here of different colors of the pen that you can get so that you can, you can see. Okay, so I think most of us would agree that the pen looks the part. Looks the part of a pen uh, that would probably be about three or four times its price. There are certainly people out there selling pens that look like this at three, four, and ten times the price. But but does that make it a good value? Well, you know, if it can't write, no. So the question then becomes, how well does it write? And this is how well does the pen write, not how well does James write. Okay, we'll keep those things straight. And I think that it writes very well. Again, it's a Jin Hao 992, regular steel nib number five from Jin Hao, which usually is a, a good, decent nib. Um, this one is rated as fine, and as you can see, it, it writes fairly fine. I would say it's uh, typically it's wider than say a Pilot. Most of the Pilot pens that are right, going to write finer be going to be a little bit thinner and crisper than this. So I'm going to call it a fine to medium, using the Pilot kind of as my standard, and uh, but not not all the way to medium. Definitely not all the way to medium. Uh, I've got mediums from Caveco and Jin Hao and several others, and, and it's not that thick. But it is thicker than what I would consider a fine, so yeah, find a medium. Uh, do the numbers. I think those are good for demonstrating a lot of different strokes. So that gives you some idea of how a pen is going to write, and it writes smoothly. I, I, I think the flow is good. Uh, you see there's a little bit of a lightness there. I think that probably is more me not holding the nib just right than it is the pen. I think the pen is pretty consistent if, if you're consistent. And so, you know, you do those little exercises, which I don't always do well, uh, but you can kind of get an idea of how the pen writes. I think that was me as well. So you see there, it's just fine. It keeps up as long as I keep up. So it's, it's really a, a very good pen. I would say the things that it has going for it are its value. I paid only a few dollars for this pen, and I'll put a link uh, 
to a couple of places you can find this pin, uh, the Jinhao 992. I think the value is very good. I think the look is good. Like I said, I think that's a little odd at the end, but you know, really honestly, who cares? It's not that big a deal. Um, every pin is going to have something that you look at and go, I might have designed that just a touch differently, and that would be that would be my thing there. Has a good clip. It writes well. Uses international cartridges. That's always a great thing. Comes with a converter, and none of those things are proprietary. That's a big bonus to me. And on top of all that, it writes well, and it's in my favorite color. So for me, that's a win-win-win all around. And I would highly recommend the Jinhao 992 for somebody who's looking for a nice demonstrator that is uh, not, you know, your fanciest demonstrator. Make no mistake about it. That there, this is not like a Twisby or something like that, but it is a very well-made, uh, basically good demonstrator pen. Would I recommend the Jinhao 992? Yes, I would. If you're looking for a pen that's a good value, you enjoy a demonstrator pen uh, that's still a, a nice looking pen. Let's try that again. So would I recommend the Jinhao 992? Yes, I would. I would. Uh, I th for me, this is a nice looking daily driver demonstrator pen. It's not going to be the fancy pen in your collection, but a good daily driver that is more interesting than a Bic by a thousand times, yeah, this is a great pen. has a good strong clip. It has a good nib. It writes well. comes with a converter so you can use your own ink. takes international standard cartridges so that you can use whatever ink you want that comes in those. And it's going to last you a long time. And it costs you, what was that again? About three bucks probably if you order it off eBay. I don't see why you're not already clicking. Go buy this pen. I think you will enjoy it. It'll be a good one. And Jin Hao, by the way, pays me nothing. I'm just quickly becoming a fan of their pens along with some other companies as well. I just want you to know this one is a good value and a good pen. Have a great week and come on back, like and subscribe so that you'll know when we put out new uh, video reviews of fountain pens. I will probably have one in less than a week uh, that I want to share with you, another demonstrator pen. In fact, I can show it to you right here. I'm going to share this one fairly soon. This is a Wing Sung pen in my high school colors, and that's why I bought that one. So, you know, another weakness. Like and subscribe. Have a great week.